All right, we have made it to the top of the tower in Syria on crushing. Congratulations. Uh, what's going to happen here is we're going to have two helicopters shooting at us. And we're going to have enemies spawning up here with us. The enemies will spawn infinitely until the helicopters are destroyed. And that's important to know because that means the helicopters are your priority. Even so, the best tactic is to have one player designated to shoot at the helicopters while the other two players... Um, take care of the enemies on the ground and watch the the other players back you know what i'm saying um we don't follow that strategy to a t right here because i was thinking i was going to be the player shooting at the helicopters um and smooth is is working on that too so we get like attacked a lot by the people on the ground but we make it through pretty well but uh the helicopters follow this pattern where they'll hover for a few seconds then they'll move and hover for like just one second and move and they'll alternate like that so if you know that and you keep up with that you won't miss as many shots like I did right there because you see like right now they're moving and um, they just stop for like a split second and then they're moving again um, if you're not aware of that you can easily have rockets just flying right past them like you see right there uh, but once again like I said um, I think smooth was trying to help me out shooting the, the rockets and uh, drunks getting they're getting a little overwhelmed back there. You see, we got a red circle and a blue circle right there at the same time. And uh, I don't know why I ran right past him without healing him. Um, I'm just a little distracted and, and uh, he got choked out. That was too bad. And uh, anyway, this is this is a video kind of half what to do and half what not to do. So that'll work out. So anyway, I'm throwing my cluster bomb over there to uh, get that grabber off of him. Because my main focus right now is just the helicopters. You know, I just want to shoot the helicopters. And Drunk's the one that figured out that as soon as you destroy one helicopter, the other one starts shooting rockets at you, which sucks really bad. So what you want to do is take advantage of that knowledge. And uh, you see, like, one helicopter is smoking right now. That means it's been hit uh, once. They, they each take three shots to, dis to be destroyed. And uh, after the first shot, they start smoking. After the second shot, you see I just hit that one. Now it's on fire. So now I know that that helicopter that's on fire only needs one more shot to be destroyed. So I want to leave it alone until I get the other one on fire. Basically, the strategy is to have both of them on fire so that as soon as you destroy one, the other one only needs one shot. Uh, so that way you eliminate the chance of the other one shooting rockets at you for too long. Um in a perfect game scenario, once both helicopters are on fire, here I go throwing another cluster bomb again because uh, they're both grabbed, but the cluster bomb come back and bit me. But we get through that. But as I was saying, in a perfect game scenario, once both helicopters are on fire, one of the two players who's taking care of these ground units could uh, actually pick up an RPG and you could both shoot the helicopters simultaneously. You know, like uh, I get the one on the left, you get the one on the right. Uh, we've done that before, but that is kind of tricky, so... Anyway, now we've got one helicopter destroyed, and as you can see, the other one is firing rockets at us, which is quite problematic. The good thing is we did uh, play it properly to where they were both on fire, so that means this helicopter only needs one shot uh, to be taken down. But, you know, it's still going to be firing rockets at us until we get that shot to connect. And uh, like I said before, <laughs> none of us had played Syria for like months and months before this this run we just uh, kind of threw this together for the video really quick so um, it does take a little bit of practice knowing exactly how to aim those rockets you know uh, I mean general uh, shooting strategy in real life is that you know if your targets moving you want to lead but if you're moving you want to follow but uh, anyway we got the Helicopters destroyed, and, and so now the enemies have stopped spawning, so as soon as we clear them up, we get a checkpoint, and that's the end of the map, and um, yeah, man, I really hope that, you know, if you've been trying to get the, the crushing star, or whatever, maybe these videos helped you out, uh, as far as knowing what to expect, knowing little tips and tricks of how to exploit different spawn points throughout the map, um, different things to take advantage of, and all that good stuff, goody good, so, uh, Anyway, now we got half of a, a statue that turns out to be completely meaningless because we're just going to go to the airport next and shoot the bosses. Uh, 
I'm drinking coffee.